Picking up right where we left off, we need to do two rows of single crochets, a total of 16 for each row. two rows of 16 the next round we're going to do seven single crochets and an increase two times to increase the body to 18. and then an increase remember an increase is two single crochets in the same stitch that gives us a total of 18. And then just continue on to the next round, a single crochet, 18. All right, now it's time to change colors. So we're going to pull that loop out, grab our pink, and I'm going to show you this helpful tip if you get red heart yarn. It's going to show you which direction you want to get it out of. If you want to pull from the outside or if you want to pull through the middle. It's always easier to pull through the middle. So it tells you which direction you need to pull from. So start over here and go ahead and grab your pink yarn. Okay, now it's time for the color change. Don't get intimidated by a color change. They're relatively simple. Go ahead and loop your color through and go ahead and do the pretzel shape as if you were going to go ahead and start a brand new row. Tighten it all up and there you go. You did a color change. Now you're just going to start crocheting with the pink. Our next step is five single crochets and then an increase three times for a total of 21. with the pink six single crochets and an increase three times for a total of 24. I'm going to pause at this row and go ahead and start stuffing my head. Make sure when you're stuffing the head that you make it nice and round so make sure you fill in the gaps and you can always shape it just a little bit. Make sure you don't overstuff it because you want it nice and soft for little ones to play with. I'm leaving the neck and the bottom of the fin empty because if you overstuff or if you go ahead and fill it up to the top, your stuffing is going to start showing through the stitches as you crochet. So I'm going to stop there because I've got plenty of time to stuff that and continue on with the next round. We need two rounds of 24. After you've completed the two rounds of 24, the next step is to do six single crochets and decrease and three times for a total of 21. And just a quick recap of how to do a decrease. You loop through one, pull through, loop through the next, pull through, and then you're going to pull through all three and there's your decrease. Do that two more times with a total of six and then a decrease and you're finished with this row. The next round is a single crochet all the way around for a total of 21. The next row is five single crochets and a decrease for a total of three times, which will give us 18. After you finish that row, then you do 18 single crochets for the next row. Four single crochets and a decrease for a total of 15. For the next round, one single crochet for a total of 15 all the way across. The next round after that, we're going to do three single crochets, a decrease, 
and then we're gonna do one round of 12 all the way across. So go ahead and do the next three rows. Once you get to 12, you're going to want to start stuffing. Don't worry, I didn't change colors. I just started a second one because they were turning out so cute. So once you get to 12, that seems to be the magical number for me. They'll still allow for stuffing pretty easily. So go ahead and stuff. Don't forget, you will always need to do a little bit of shaping after you get it stuffed. And picking up with that round, the next round is going to get us to nine by doing two single crochets and a decrease. One single crochet all the way around for a total of nine. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit more stuffing here at the very tip just to make sure it's filled out nicely. The first step is to turn your work and do two chains. Next, do a double crochet and a triple crochet in one stitch. A double crochet you loop around once, go through both ends, pull through, and do two. Now you want to do a triple in the same stitch, loop around twice, go through, pull up, two loops, two loops and two loops. Next stitch, you're gonna do a double crochet and a single crochet. Again, through both sides. We're closing off the end this way. Single, whoops, whoops, whoops. And then a single, almost did a double there. And in the next stitch, you're going to do a double and a triple again. In the final stitch, we're going to do a double, two chains, and then a slip stitch. So this is how you're going to do it. You're going to go to the last stitch, you're going to do a double, two chains, one, two, and then a slip stitch back in the very beginning to give it that nice round look. Fasten off, and there's your adorable little fin. I definitely encourage to do whatever color you wish because I'm going to have very two cute little mermaids on my hands here. I'm going to have a hard time keeping my daughter away from them.